Lagos, the commercial hub of Nigeria, seem not to be safe anymore as some criminal elements, according to several reports, are taking advantage of the lax security situation to unleash terror on residents. These, they say, may not be unconnected to the aftermath of the NSAS protests. Some police stations were vandalized, burnt, and some policemen reportedly killed. Richard Johnson was robbed in the early hours of today. He shared his experience. been robbed about three hours ago. What is that? I mean, it, was, it was in a vehicle and all that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, a, a vehicle from, on, on my way coming down to Ikeja. From Lekki. Okay. Sean is and that's a personal experience today. today. And I actually came to buy a new phone to Sean is that so that I can activate and, and I've done a report and all that. Now I went to a police station, there were no police there. There's what they call you don't throw the baby, you don't throw the water, the baby with the bath water. Whether you like it or not, police have their uses. Yes, the police have not they've not been the same. They are not aggressive that they used to be. When you see them, they are kind of calm. Um, nobody's been harassed. But at the same time, we want us to be more involved. I feel that um, this time around, they will be better than usual because I heard that they are going through some training right now so that they can serve the society better. There are some people in outside there misbehaving. And I know that if there is security around there, it will be easy. They can go there to calm down the issue. I think, um, we, uh, let's forget about the corruption of the police. Uh, their impact is very, very absent now. The residents who noted that policemen seemed detached urged them to move on from the ugly incident and discharge the duties professionally. As a result of people anger that happened, there were some people that took, understand, took advantage of the situation to wreck our She understand. So, as it stands now, we police, we need it. let them come appealing, appealing to them, appealing to government to make sure that make environment uh, that's a, a create a conducive environment so that it will make a job of the police easy. Everybody knows that we all want a better police. At this point, I will appeal to the policemen on the streets to be more careful, more calm, not to take this at this happen. You know, sometimes the way citizens address you sometimes can make you, but at the same time, you need to apply professionalism. My uh, appeal to them is that they should try as much as possible to come back, understand, and let's reform ourselves according to what is happening in this situation, like reform the police, understand. Let them reform themselves. After that, I don't think there's, pro there's no problem in this country, I'm telling you. Beyond a mere appeal for the police to fully resume their constitutional role, a security expert stressed the need for justice for victims of police brutality. So we have a government whose responsibility it is to provide enough policing logistics, motivation, materials, personnel, and relationship. Why? Why did I say relationship? We have the Ministry of Orientation. Those are the people that are supposed to communicate. Now, this has not been done. We have the same government who have not looked at penalties, disciplinary measures for erring police officers. If you do that, you bring a senior client into the profession. He also called for synergy between the community and the police so as to bring about true healing and reconciliation. So, communities should begin to do this now. They should begin to approach the nearest police command and say, we want to meet with you. But sorry about what happened. We know not all of you are bad. Then when you sit with them, you begin to highlight. Then you too, the police, we say, we have issues with your area boys. We have issues with your thugs. We have issues with your landlords. Sometimes you lock the gates too. We can't patrol. And everybody comes up with their issues. They start to resolve it there. That is what we are supposed to be doing now. If we start that, the police will go people friendly. And they will not too much be disappointed with our lackadaisical government responses. Judith Renoir for Galaxy News, Lagos.